Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good morning to everyone. So today we are going to learn on the sedimentation process. Okay, so we have already formed bigger size of flocculations, uh, some bigger size of flocks. So we need to remove them in the sedimentation process. So how do we remove uh, the, the particles? How do we remove the flocks? Okay, what kind of tank that we need to use? So is it easy to design the tank? So those are the questions that you you may have. Okay, you may have. Uh, you may want to know. All right. So basically, sedimentation is a process to uh, get rid of all the particles, all the uh, the particle that you have formed in the uh, flocculation process, and the the shape of the sedimentation tank can be regular or can be uh, I'm sorry rectangular. Can be square, can be can also be a, a circle, a circular form. Okay, so this is basically uh, how a, a a sedimentation tank looks like. Okay, so the it, it's basically like a, a big field, very huge field. Okay, uh, and we can see a very huge area of the sedimentation tank. You don't see anything moving inside the sedimentation tank. Because we want to allow the particles to settle in the sedimentation tank. So this is one kind of sedimentation tank at a water treatment plant. Alright, there are types of particles, discrete and flocculate. Okay, I, I believe that you have written down these uh, notes on discrete and flocculate particles. So anything that you would like to ask, it's quite easily understood if you read the... The definition of discrete and flocculate particles. So basically, they, there are two types. One, they are particle. They have a discrete. That basically, once it goes down, or uh, when this, uh, when they settle in the water, there is no size change. Okay. So let, let's say we start with a, a golf ball. We throw it in the water. It's still at the at the at the, at the base of the tank. Okay. You still will you will still will see a golf ball. There is no size changing. Okay. But for the flocculate particles, okay, so when it goes down, the water is settled down in the water, the size of the particles getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So those are two types of particles, okay, the discrete particles like golf ball or even sand or uh, those are partic those particles or grids, okay. But the for flocculate particles are the one that we learn from the flocculation tank where the size of the particles get uh, become bigger and bigger. So there are, there are three types of particles, okay? The first one is not particles, but three types of sedimentation process. The first one is the type 1, whereby the particles uh, in the water is not very many, very low concentration, so they can easily settle as an individual particle, okay? No change in size, okay? So, example of it is sand and grid material. And these are, those particles are removed in this wastewater treatment process. So I think you've learned it before in the wastewater treatment pro, uh, process. So, you can imagine okay, when, when, you, uh, when the wastewater coming into the wastewater treatment plant, the first part is just to remove sand and grid. The second type of sedimentation, whereby when you have the particles concentration to be very low, now you will see the situation where the particles are flocculating. It means once it's entering the, the sedimentation tank, it has a smaller size of particles. So eventually, once, once it settles down at the bottom of the tank, the size of the particle will be bigger. Okay? The particles flocculate. Example is particle removal in the sedimentation tank in water treatment plant. Okay, the topic that we will be learning today is in water treatment plant okay so we will be learning basically type 2 sedimentation type 3 sedimentation is when you have very high particles concentration so instead of uh, settle as individual particles or individual particles with greater size but this time around since it's very very huge uh, the, the amount of concentration is very high it will settle as a zone, okay? So they have clear zone and they have blanket zones. If I may share my 
white boy. Okay. This is type three uh, sedimentation. So you have a uh, high concentration of particles. So they will actually settle down as a zone. Okay, it's a blanket zone or sludge zone. Then you have clear zone and then sludge zone. Basically, they are they just goes down like that. So it's being separated between blanket zone and so clear zone. Okay, so that's what it means. Okay, so it settles like that. Okay, is that clear? Hopefully, this diagram helped you a little bit. I hope. Okay. So those are three types of sedimentation and also two types of the particles.